Okay, do you guys mind if we talk about audio? Because we're, we're, we're doing a keyboard that has an amp and DAC in it. This is the moon drop. We're gonna talk about audio tonight too. This is gonna be a fun stream actually. I will, if you guys have audio questions, I own a crap ton of audio gear, um, both microphone and IEM stuff like that. Look at the side profile. Now it's too high guys. This is too high. Hold on. I think that's a little better. Would you say the mode sauna is still worth, oh dude, 110%. Here, well, until it stops swaying back and forth, but. So take a look at this. This has some ports on the side. By the way, this is actually a really pretty keyboard. It's actually nice. Like I actually quite enjoy this. Uh, from a keyboard perspective, the side profile is kind of cool. It does have flip out feet over here that changes the angle somewhat. I honestly found these to be kind of underwhelming. So I ended up just leaving it the way it was. Interesting enough, moon drop, from what I understand and what I've read, we're gonna take this apart, I believe somewhat today. Uh, Moondrop actually included, so it's a 4.4 mil and a 3.5 mil balance connectors. And I believe they actually, Moondrop sells this like very minimal portable amp DAC that I think they've just worked into the, uh, the keyboard itself. I actually put all of my IEMs in here and I did a full, the Moon River, that's what it's called. I did a full ass, um, listen, like just listening session. I have owned a lot of amps and DACs as well. It's pretty, honestly, dude, I was impressed by this considering it's a keyboard. I like the decision, obviously, of it being on the left side opposed to the right side, because that's where your mouse and keyboard would be, or your mouse rather would be, not mouse and keyboard, but it, it was pretty good. Like it did drive like pretty much every single IEM and I tried one pair of headphones and it drove them okay too. Uh, yes, and it does have some USBs too. I haven't, I didn't test these. I, I don't have a USB stick for some reason anywhere to test these for data. These are not for charging. I couldn't get anything to charge. Again, maybe it was just a me problem, but um, kind of handy to have if you use some stuff like that. Uh, and then yeah, it, got some, it has a PC bottom. I've gotten my fingerprint all over this from me touching it the last few days. Can I just point out, so these are, let's, let's, let's look at something real quick, dude. Does it come fully built? It does, it does. But we're gonna take this apart and go through this because I think this keyboard is actually pretty interesting. Okay, I haven't touched a single thing about the parts, not even tuning stabs. This is PE foam. It's actually really good stock. Uh, considering like this isn't, the stabs are actually really fucking good stock. But it is PE foam. Like I did open up one switch to see what the hell was in here. And it is indeed PE foam. So these are their own switches too. I don't really have too many stacks on the switches. Oh yeah, and because I don't think there's gonna be a long stream with just this. Uh, I'll probably loop some switches and just hang out and chill with you guys. I I'm honestly just like, I'm very tired today, guys. It has been a very long work day for me. Yeah, they are moon drop switches. Do I have stats on these? Let me check. Let me check if they sent me stats on the switches at all. I think they might be TTC. They, they're actually pretty damn good. They're, they come pre-lubed. They see moon drop on them. They're five pin as well, which is kind of nice. They definitely don't feel like Texi. They, they more feel like TTC. Sending you info on Discord. Thank you, Nev. But I was legitimately like pretty impressed by this dude. Oh, they have, uh, oh yeah, here. There's some, definitely some info on this. Not a fan of the badge. Aesthetically, I don't love it either. And I feel like this could have been a better position on the back, but it is what it is. The thing, these are the Luna lights. They're a nylon with palm stem. Honestly, they feel pretty good. Here's the cool thing about this. I don't know if you guys have heard about these springs. These are using those KOS stainless steel springs, which are apparently really good, by the way. So these switches, not bad. I actually don't mind the switches. I did crack a few open uh, in my tests earlier. They were pretty consistent lube wise, which was pretty nice. But honestly, not bad. I am pretty impressed with the switches. I haven't actually opened 
this up at all though. So I actually don't know how this opens. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I visually don't like the keycaps. I think the keycaps are pretty, uh, not my thing. Yeah, it's, I also think it's a weird choice to go with these keycaps, to be honest. Yeah, they're the same company who makes IEMs. They put one of their amp DAX in this. As you can see here. Can you remove the Moondrop badge? Let's find out. I actually don't know. I honestly don't know. This board um, screams for minimal. We can we can switch out keycaps today. That's what we're definitely gonna do. But I believe you can open this up. I don't know exactly what this is gonna open up to though. Let's find out. Ah, dude, I just don't know why people use this font. Like this pixel font. I don't know who exactly wants this pixel font. Uh, I don't think this is gonna look good without the badge though, guys. Exactly. I don't want to tilt it. Okay, you know what? Fine, we'll tilt it over. Yeah, the colors aren't bad. It's 9,000 and oh, there's literally nothing here. That's a bit disappointing. Can you technically flip this over? You can technically. That's a bit disappointing. You can, def you can definitely flip it over. I don't think it's going to screw in nicely though because it has different cuts there. I would I think even if they provide an option to kind of customize this, that'd be a better market, but a little disappointing on that. The board would go uh, well with some CRP. Yeah, definitely. The, the color of the board is nice. It's not exactly white. It's a, uh, like an eggshell. All right, now, I think the way we open this is we have to technically take off these feet. All right, another mistake that I feel like they could do better on Adhesive feet. Adhesive feet, dude. And they put the screws underneath. I, do, I think the price point on this keyboard is gonna be about 300 bucks. Considering they stuck a near $200 DAC amp inside, I don't think this is outrageously priced either. Just by the way, I think this is actually pretty fair. If we're taking a look at pre-bolts, I have a soft spot for uh, goofy I Iquinix boards. I is it Iquinix? Iquinox? Okay, so this is a pretty thick slab of polycarb. Hmm. Quality on the polycarbonate is actually not bad considering I put a lot of fingerprints on it. It does have a pretty nice like frosted look to it. Again, there's tons of my fingerprints on the back here, guys. Pretty normal and I did, do think I scuffed it up a little bit from testing it. Not bad. Hmm. Okay. IQ Nix. Oh. Uh, doesn't. That's why it doesn't sound hollow. Thick ass polycarp. Yeah, and there's a little bit of foam here. This looks to be a thin sheet, though. No way, dude. Did they pre-tape mod this? They, dude. I've never seen a pre-built with a dude. I've never seen a tape mod it pre-built, bro. That's actually pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool, dude. It's hot swap tubes, by the way, so you guys already seen that, but there's the amp DAC. Wait, is this the amp DAC? Yeah, this is the amp DAC. Plugged into the, ah, oh, plugged into this being the daughter board slash USB pass-through. Uh, you did this, dude, I swear to God, this is the way it came. I've never opened it. As you guys can, I've never opened it because those are adhesive. That's probably why this sounds so solid. All right, now I'm not gonna remove the tape mod quite yet, but there's a very thin, this is not that thick at all. Eh, there's a little thickness, I guess. What is the amp DAC supposed to do? It's supposed to power, it's supposed to power your headphones. It acts as a digital to audio con or analog converter for your uh, headphones. If you don't get a free pair of Moondrop IMs to this keyboard, they ca then call it a ripoff. K bye. Freaking Chozo, dude. All right, I don't exactly know how this is seated into this though. How does this lift out? I guess that's my my question for this. Is this another, this just push through? Okay, I actually don't know how this takes apart, guys. Unless this is screwed on. I wonder. I'm curious, is this an integrated plate? I have not seen an integrated plate in so long. 
My mom and I went for her birthday di dinner, albeit uh, B-Day isn't until the 7th. Oh, where'd you guys go? And happy birthday to her. You know, okay, I think that might lower the, no, it's not sandwich. You can literally see the, um, that's integrated, right? I'm not, I'm not stupid, right? Hmm, interesting. Here's the thing though. I don't see that as a terrible thing. I personally don't see it as an awful thing. I think it perhaps, to me, lowers some of the perceived value of this keyboard. Um, simply because it's gonna be much more tricky to kind of like <sighs> customize this further in the future. Dremel time, can you imagine, dude? It dude, it play it makes things so much easier as a pre-built. Yes, as a pre-built, I think it adds value to that. There's the amp deck, there's the USB uh, pass-through. Again, this is the Moon River from what I understand and what I've read about. Uh, this is a piece of Poron on the bottom. I, I still think even with the fact that this is integrated plate honestly doesn't sound and feel too bad. Like obviously it's stiffer, but I'm I'm not really angry about it. Yeah, yeah we're gonna put it back together right now. They're saying an integrated practical USB hub, uh, 81 key keyboard, uh, Moondrop exclusive switches, which the switches are actually pretty good. And then the um, high performance lossless DAC. You know, these aren't that bad. I feel like they, they could use a little bit more lube on the stem area, but I can definitely see there's some, it's a little tough to see here, but these aren't actually that bad. They do sound pretty good. I don't think it's marketed as like a super, super high end custom. I think it's just marketed as like a, this keyboard will sound good and also have an, an amp DAC inside of it. Yeah, the stabs are pretty good. All right, let's do a little sound test. Oh, and the space bar might have not have been on all the way. Okay, can I be honest with you guys? I kind of like this. I actually kind of like this, dude. You know what it is? Yes, it's firm, and I don't think firm is a bad thing by any like means at all. The switches feel so good. And I think it might be those really nice, because those springs are pretty good, the, those KOS springs from what I understand. All right, do we want to see uh, GMK keycaps on this then? Is that what we want to do? If anything, guys, if I end up really like not loving this keyboard and just having no use for it, I might actually swap the switches out and steal these switches because low key, these are these are actually pretty nice switches, man. It seems to be sitting a bit low for the GMK spacebar here, as you guys can kind of see. Not much I can really do about that. It's a little bit low, but it's not rubbing against anything. I don't know, it, might, it looked kind of like the, the plate PCB. I don't think truly, here's the thing about this board. I think whatever keycaps, or sorry, whatever switches you put in here are gonna sound primarily the same, with the exception maybe of long pull because of the tape mod and the PE film. Not again, not a bad thing, but I don't think this is leaning too much on making this the best, most custom experience ever. Um, I think the market is completely different from this. And this just goes into this. 
send your, this is a bit longer because I have to use an adapter for it, but it would basically just sit like this and you put your IEMs in. That's actually not, again, it's, I don't think this is too intrusive to anything. Uh, it has an internal DAC, yeah. So if you look up the Moon River 2, it's one of Moondrop's products. From what I understand, the internals of that are actually in this keyboard. The DAC is a selling point uh, for it, but the sound is good stock is a mega bonus. I think so too. Uh, love you guys. As always, peace out everyone and bye-bye.